What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Destroyer, and welcome back to my playthrough of Mario Golf Super Rush. Yes, in part two, I did mention I wanted to start this golf adventure because in part two, I played a round of speed golf, played 18 holes against uh, Luigi. I, I was playing as Mario, of course, but uh, let's get into golf adventure, slot one. Start from scratch, create from likeness, copy me from Amiibo. Uh, let's just go from likeness, I guess. I am a male. Uh, that looks exactly like me, not really. Actually, this dude looks a little like me. Except I've got a bit more of a beard. Um, hmm. I know, I like that dude's hair. Hmm, tough decision. <laughs> this guy looks like a thug. Actually, I like this guy. He looks kind of cool. Make any edit you want and then save the me. Alright. Let's have a look. Uh, I might change his... Where's his mouth? That looks so... Give him a smile. <laughs> um, yeah, baby. You look gorgeous. Um, kind of like a shock look. <laughs> That's a great mouth. Um, blowing a kiss. So pretty. Uh, I know this, you know, customization stuff can be quite boring, but you know, but I quite like that. It suits him, I reckon. So position, we won't worry about color. Change the color of it. Uh, I don't see a change. So whatever, we'll just hit back. Facial hair. We might give him a bit of a beard, actually. Ooh. Actually, no, that looks stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't like the beards or anything on there. Alright, uh, body, I don't think that really matters. Should I give him some glasses? Sometimes I wear my gunners when I'm gaming. Yeah, man. Give him some John Lennon. Some Wayfarers, they look like Wayfarers, those sort of glasses. But I like the Aviators. Uh, okay. Okay, hit back. Enter a nickname. Uh, maybe my channel name. How do you... There we go. Keep it capitals. I am still relatively new to the Nintendo Switch world, so... Excuse me for that. Alright, Destroyer. Done. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should I wear a skirt? Nah, I think pants would be fine. Okay. Play using his me. Dominant hand is set to right for golf adventure. This can be changed. That's fine. I am right-handed in real life. What's with the scan lines? Ooh. Toadette, hey, you turned it off at the worst possible time. Birdo, what the hell is this? Oh, it looked like Mario just won. Isn't that the end of the tourney? Charge and chuck. Uh, did you see how he won? That was ridiculous. I need to see a replay. Some slow mo. Oh, sorry, Chuck, but remember, the welcome ceremony tomorrow is more important than watching TV. Boo. Hee hee hee. Birdo's right. We should all get some good sleep tonight. I feel like we're going to need it. Thank you. How wonderful to have at least one sensible rookie in the house. Hmm. I'll sleep just fine. What about you? I didn't even know ghosts could sleep. You don't just fall through to bed. Uh -huh. Chuck, I feel like that's a rude question to ask a ghost. <laughs> what? It's not that bad. Anyway, I guess I'll go to bed too. I want to make a good impression at the welcome ceremony tomorrow. Wow. So this is like a whole story thing. This is kind of cool. I like it. I seriously wasn't expecting this. Nice surprise. Okay, so that's a good idea, dear. <laughs> idea, dear. 
I know you're hoping to be one of the standouts in this rookie class. Bah, she can't outdrive me. Sorry, Toadette, but you're always going to be playing catch up to the real heavy hitters. Bah ha ha. Excuse me, you can't always win with power alone, you know. You've got to keep a level head and know when to lay up. <laughs> You've both got it wrong. Finesse is the name of the game. Alright. Oh, it's you. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Come join us, please. Want some tea? Everyone, please allow me to introduce the final rookie in your group, Destroyer. <laughs> I do not sound like that dude. You're a rookie too? How much did you over here? I mean, nice to meet you. Yes, the Golf Association called to let us know that one more rookie would be arriving late. Now they're here. Alright, alright. So, how far can you drive it, Rook? You want to tee it up and see who wins? Alright, let's do it. Don't mind Chuck, he's got an oversized driver for a brain. Come on everyone, you, uh, you'll you all be learning together, so you might as well introduce yourselves properly. Heya, the name's Charged Chuck. I hit the long ball, boom. Don't matter where it goes, as long as it goes far. Giddy up! I'm Toadette, it's great to meet another student of the game. I hope we all learn from each other. I'm Boo. Um, Boo. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, I'm out of here. I've got to lift anyway. <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? If you want to hit the green, your biceps got to be mean. Says me. Well, I was on my way to bed. The most important thing for strong muscles is recovery. I love it how they chuck these little things in with the dialogue. You know, it's like, you know, go to bed early, get sleep. It's good for sore muscles and stuff. And Yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway, I don't understand the obses obsession with muscles that seems to plague... Those of you with physical bodies. Anyway, off the bed. E he he he. So, it's quite a crew we have here. Can I move my me? No, I can't. No. I wasn't sure if I could move around or not. What am I thinking? You must be exhausted. Why don't you head to your room and get some rest as well? Oh, but I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Birdo, the camp house mama. You can even call me mama if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, your room is the one in the back. We've got the big welcome ceremony tomorrow, so go rest up. Okay? Alright, now I can move. Sweet. This is actually quite funny. It's clever. I like it. I'm afraid it's a bit late. Why don't you head to your room? Okay. Furthest back did that say. Charging Chuck. Boo. Hey! <laughs> Alright. Can't get changed. I have to sleep in my golf attire. Turn in for the night, yes please. It's very uh, Animal Crossing-esque as well there. Meet the manager in front of the clubhouse. Alright, let's go. Actually, can you go into other people's rooms? You can, but they're not there. Alright, I'm assuming... Is it down these stairs to the front? Hello. Ah, you're away. Good day, destroyer. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I hope you're feeling rested. Did you get a good night's sleep overall? Ah, yeah, sure. Oh, good. I didn't wake you because you seemed like you really needed to rest. But now you're running late for the welcome ceremony. Head outside and straight down the road. Hurry. All right. I'm not going to bother trying to talk to you. Hang on. Am I going the wrong way again? I am. Oh, just one more thing. Everyone in town knows that we have a new class of rookies starting out. So you'll have a lot of eyes on you and some pretty high expectations. Just put your best foot forward and take it in stride. Good luck. <laughs> Alright, sweet. This is cool, man. Like, as soon as I had no idea that it was like a whole story-driven thing like this. A Bonnie Greens. We're going to Bonnie Dune. If you're not... Australian. You won't understand what I'm talking about unless you've seen the movie called The Castle. Yo, Cooper. Is that Cooper? Hello, welcome to Bonnie Green's birthplace of golf in the Mushroom Kingdom. I know you're a rookie, so you've probably been hearing this a lot, but this place is legendary. Hallowed grounds. Can't tell you how many folks I've seen arrive as rookies and leave as golf heroes. All right, cool, dude. All right, shall I speak to... I might as well. Oh, you must be that rookie I've heard about. Destroyer, isn't it? 
Word is that you got some real talent. I can't wait to see what you're capable of. Thank you, dude. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Look at this. This is crazy, man. I thought we were just going to play golf. Like, just like running around places and stuff. You're the rookie one he's talking about, right? Yep. Bunny Greens has world-class practice in areas and courses. Golfers travel from near and far to play here. The bulletin board over there has a detailed map of everything. Take a look. All right. To have a quick gaze. Clubhouse. So the clubhouse is a big one straight ahead, basically. So cool. So you got a pro shop, a cafe, rookie course, practice area, golf entrance, home, and current location. All right. Head coach. Hey there. I'm guessing you must be destroyer. Am I right? Nope. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you. Now, listen up, rooks. The welcome ceremony is getting started. Get in line. Hurry it up. All right. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Manager. Looks like everyone's here, coach. Welcome, rookies. How's Ghost going to play, uh, or Boo, should I say? How's he going to play uh, golf? He can't. He floats. Now, surely you all know the storied, storied history of our club. But a reminder never hurts. Bonnie Green's Golf Village is the birthplace of countless legendary golfers. Okay. Uh, I hope you all realize how lucky you are to get a chance to write your own chapter in the Bonnie Green story. I'm the clubhouse manager here, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this rookie class. Now, you've just met our head coach. Uh, he has a lot to offer, so I hope you take his lessons to heart. After all, he's launched the careers of several top players. Hey, hey! hey. hey. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Hey, thanks for that. Now... You are all here for a reason. You've got the raw talent to make it in golf. But that doesn't mean it'll be easy. I'll help you make the most of your potential, but you've got to put in the work. Very well then. I'll go ahead and pass these out. Hey! hey. Uh, this is called a golf watch, rookies. I'll track your... Ah, uh, it'll track your stats, record your scores, and a whole lot more. It's an Apple Watch. Uh, come on up and get one when I call your name. All right. Charge and chuck. Yo. Uh, I hear you drive the ball a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if we can't teach you some control. Control? That gonna help me hit it farther? Told it. I'm here. Yo, I should probably put on a girly voice for that, but... Nah. Uh, I hear you're pretty crafty on the links, playing golf like it's chess. I can't wait to see how you do. I'll give it my best, coach. Yo, Boo. Hee hee hee. I hear you're a supernatural with control. A supernatural, that's funny. That can make up for a lack of power. Lack of power? I'll show you the true meaning of power. Oh, you mean my golf swing? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, what's I was saying before? A ghost can't play golf, dude. Come on. <laughs> Last up is Destroyer. That's me. I hear you're a real prodigy, but rough around the edges. Just like the fairway, I guess. <laughs> that's funny. Ha, huh, I just made that up. That's a good one, dude. All right, that's enough for intros. Go ahead and slap those new golf watches on your wrists. You equipped a golf watch. Your data's already in there like magic. Just press on and make sure it looks right. Now, the first screen, screen, not screen, screen that comes up should be pretty basic. Just your overview and stats and stuff. Don't worry about all the advanced functions right off the bat. Just take your time and get familiar with it. Now, I'm going to go over the badge system. Okay. Alright, so you see where it says Steel Badge? One day when you reach the top, it might say Platinum instead. Alright. That's the best badge there is, reserved for real pros. The path to improving your badge runs through tournaments. Your golf watch will update if you earn a new badge. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Now I'd like to introduce another member of our team who'll be helping instruct you. Oh? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Toad. I've been looking forward to this for quite a long time. Yeah. Golf is more popular than ever in the Mushroom Kingdom. Wasn't that tawny yesterday incredible? But if we want to keep the sport interesting, we need some green players, you see. And I don't just mean folks who can hit the green. We need some fresh faces on the leaderboards. That's where you all come in. Uh, we've scouted each of, you, each of you for your special talents. Maybe you'll be the next big star. We'll get updates on your progress directly from your golf watches as you earn better and better badges. Can I can I hit a golf ball now, please? Like, I like this. This is cool and all, but... 
Can I please play some golf? Of course you'll need to practice hard and focus on your skills. Listen to your coaches, they're here to help. But with hard work, anything is possible. Maybe you'll be the new star of the tour. Alright, alright, that's it for the welcome ceremony. Can't wait to see you all on the links. Oh, destroyer. The caddy master wants to meet up before you head off to practice. Okay. Yes, almost forgot. Just head down the path to the left a little bit. You're in for a treat. Hey, hey, yo, yo, don't look at me. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Go take care of this. I sound like bloody Christopher Walken. Hey, and then you uh, hit, we'll hit the links, okay? That was a bit of a fail, but whatever. Uh, press plus to open your golf watch menu. From there, you can return to the main menu by pressing X. Okay, I'm pressing it. Ah, it's just letting me know. Okay, gotcha. All right, go meet. The caddy ma Is that you? There you are. You are destroyer, right? I am. I've been waiting for you. Oh, I hope that didn't sound weird. Now you're here for the package, aren't you? Sure. Uh, was that a yes or a shrug? You don't have any idea what I'm talking about, do you? Actually, I have no idea, dude. I'm here to give you your first set of clubs. Ah, yes. That would probably help in a game of golf. Uh, they're already customized perfectly for you. Not bad, huh? Really? Interesting. Now, when you're playing around here, you'll be chasing after your ball on your own two legs. No carts. Fair enough. It seems hard to carry around your clubs at the same time, right? Well, don't sweat it. That's what you're for, huh? You're a caddy. <laughs> we won't load you up with a full set of 14 clubs. We we'll start you off with seven, which we call a half set. That is correct. You can carry more, but it'll cost you in terms of speed. All right, that makes sense. All right, there's enough from me. That's enough from me. Go ahead and strap on that bag of clubs. Yay! Oh, yeah, I'm super excited now, dude. You got a set of golf clubs. When using half sets, it's important to carry clubs that fit your play style. This set should serve you fine for now. And don't worry, it includes a driver. I bloody hope so. Just come back and see me when you want to change things up, okay? Yeah. Last but not least, take good care of those clubs for me. Or well, these clubs for me, won't you? Yeah. I will. I think that's it. You're a full-fledged rookie now. Why don't you go try out your clubs at the practice area up ahead? All right, will do. Okay. Practice area. I think that is here. What does that say? Practice area head cool. Yeah. Oh, follow the arrow, Troy. Follow the arrow. <laughs> That's what it's there for. Yo, where am I going over here? Talking to you. Hey, hey. hey, buddy. Ready to learn how to hit the driver? Sure. Do you want to receive, uh, review the basics of hitting a, sh a shot before you get started? Uh, nah, not really. Okay, well, we've got several lessons available at the practice area anytime you're interested. Great, let's get started. Now, this is a pretty straightforward exercise. We'll be aiming at a target in a fairway with your driver. By the way, you'll need 60 points to pass this lesson. You'll get plenty of opportunities, so don't worry. The idea here is to hit a tee shot that sets you up for an easy par on the hole. Uh, that target represents a great place to end up on the fairway for your next shot. Okay. Uh, 146 meters. If you want to uh, to get precise, the blue section of the target will score you the most points. Okay. Uh, of course, that isn't always the best spot to be. That will depend on the wind, your lie, and other conditions. For now, aim for the blue area. We'll start with five shots, but don't worry about scoring 60 yet. You'll get five more shots afterward. Okay, so we're going to try and hit that blue there, that dark blue section, I guess. I'm kind of hoping that will kick on and land in it. There we go. My plan worked perfectly. All right. I guess I'll just do the same thing, kind of. That's a bit more of a powerful shot there, but should be okay. Getting that 10. Yeah. I just realized you can fast forward the shot as well, so...
Boom. Alright, I think I've got this down pat now. I think we're all good. So, how did that feel? Were you able to hit the shots where you wanted, where you wanted for the most part? Uh, yeah. All right, next we'll hit five more shots, but now we're going to get more aggressive and set up for a birdie. All right. Okay, so obviously I want to avoid the red. So let's just have a crack here. I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just points wise, but I'm talking more about positioning. Alright. Stroke seven. Nice shot. That was a bit better. Actually, do I have a special shot at the moment? I don't think I do now. Fast forward that. All right, 71 out of 60. Sweet. Nice shot. Nice shot. It's basically basically nice. uh copy and paste with those uh shots. Alright, 85. Uh, points and 400 coins. Alright, level 2. Um, I might add it to power. Yes. Lock in. Yes, please. You did it. You scored 60 or more and that's a passing grade. I like the balance I saw from you between your safe shots and your aggressive shots. You're on your way to a well-developed game, Rookie. Keep up the good work. Good job, Destroyer. Thanks, Toad. To keep improving the accuracy accuracy of your shots, you, may, uh, you need to pay attention to both carry and run. Want to learn how that works? Uh, yeah, go on, go on. Carry is how far a shot travels until the ball hits the ground. Run is how far the ball rolls after it lands. All right, press X to see an overview, overhead view. Uh, that's short, okay. Uh, the power you set for each shot determines how far it will carry. When a shot can reach the hole, the pin will appear on the gauge. Be sure to factor in run and set the power accordingly. Yeah, that's cool. I already do that anyway, but... I might as well follow this... Uh, wait. Ah. Do I have to walk through here? Yo! Do you want to take the beginner approach? Sure. Do you want to review the basics of hitting a shot before you get started? No, I do not. Okay, well, we've got several lessons available at the practice area anytime you're interested. Alright, let's start with a basic 27 meter approach on flat ground using your, you guessed it, approach wedge. In this spot, you could try a bump and run where you chip the ball onto the green and let it roll towards the hole. It's 9 meters to the green and 18 meters to the hole. After your shot lands, it will roll a bit. So if you aim for 27 meters, it will end up past the hole. Makes sense. Your power, your shot power determines how far the ball will fly until it hits the ground. This is what's called carry. In this situation, you want to fly the ball about 70% of the way to the hole. After it lands, the ball will roll or run the rest of the way. Uh, if you could consistently stop your approach shots, shots within one meter of the hole, you'll be in great shape to make a lot of putts. A lot of talking going on. I actually wasn't expecting this. First up, try to score at least 10 points. You got three shots to do it. Okay. Let's give this a crack, huh? Alright. So, okay, it's 32 meters, the same elevation. So, let's try this. Hey! <laughs> just do that every time. It's like what he says in Happy Gilmore. I should just get it in one shot every time. There we go. Nice 
Nice. Okay. Okay. 30 points. Was that easy for you or what? It was. Great work. Let's move on to the next lesson. So for this approach, we're looking at the same distances as before. We're about 9 meters from the green and the hole is 18 meters past that. But this time we have 27 meters of elevation gain to account for. That means you'll need your shot to carry a little farther so you may, uh, so you use more power. Last but not least, for the easiest possible putt, try to stop the ball in front of the pin. It's easier to putt uphill than downhill. All right, let's shoot for at least 10 points again. You've got three shots. All right. So we have to allow for that uphill, I think it was. All right, plus nine. So a little hard. I might stop it there. See how that goes. Roll. Ah, not enough. So about there. Should be... 10 points in the bag. Let's go. Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. okay. 28. Sweet. Listen pass. Try to remember everything you learn about hitting shots off inclines like that. Approach shots are just as important as putts. So keep practicing and lock in those skills. It's pretty easy to overshoot your target when it's downhill. So this will be good practice for you. The hole is one meter downhill and 30 meters away, which means you want to ease back on the power a little bit. See if you can stop the ball within one meter of the hole. You know the drill. Score 10 or more points in three shots. All right, let's try this. To be honest, I'm just hitting the ball. Hey! Hey! Nice. The fawns out here. 500 coins. Sweet. Um, do we get another point? We do. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe control. Yeah. Lock it in. Another lesson passed. That's it from me, but you'll want to keep on practicing if you want to improve. Come find me if you ever want to retake any of my lessons. All right. Hey, want to try to begin a putting lesson? Let's do it. All right, first things first. I want you to imagine putting the ball on a perfectly flat surface. That's the best way to help you learn how to judge the distance you need to cover. Putting requires more precision than other shots. Want to learn more? Yep. When putting, you only have to worry about line and speed. Line is where you aim. Speed is how hard you hit the ball. Uh, what is that? Press Y to select between short, medium, and long putts. Choose the distance that best fits your putt. The grid on the green shows higher elevation in blue and lower in red. Ah, okay, so that's an elevation thing. Sweet. Actually, wasn't sure what that was. Uh, the points of light flow from high to low. Greater elevation changes results in more points of light. Very short parts can be tapped in simply by pressing A. Hey, hey. Now let's see our target 5 meters from the ball. Try to imagine a 1 meter circle around the cup. Our goal is to get the ball to stop just inside that area. To pass you need to score 10 points or more. And you've got 3 putts to do it. Alright. Let's get those points. Uh, that was not very good. Yay! Nice! Okay. Alright. You passed, but there's room for improvement. Let's move on to the next lesson for now. So we're looking at a putt of about 5 meters again, but this time the green isn't flat. I'd say it's a baby hill at 20 centimeters. Try to nudge this shot at uh, this one so it stops within 1 meter of the cup. Again, you'll need 10 points to pass. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Class 8. I keep getting them in. <laughs> nice. Okay. Ah, well. Keep practicing. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder how many lessons there are. This is a straight 5 meter putt. Same as before, however, this one is downhill. 
20 centimetre slope from the ball to the hole. See if you can get it within one metre. Same as before. Same old, same old. All right, so I'm not stop it about there. Nope. I just keep getting the putts in. Ooh. Nearly. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually doing the objectives, but I keep getting putts in, so I guess that's uh, that's what you want when you're actually playing golf, isn't it? So I uh, don't really care about spin, to be honest. I might grab some more power. Actually, no, stamina. Yeah. Lock it in, Eddie. Hey, hey. You passed. That does it for my lessons. Keep practicing and honing your skills. If you ever want to retake some lessons, hit me up. All right, so now I've got to talk to you. No. Yes, no. I'm trying to follow the arrow here. There we go. Yo. What up, coach? So you passed the basic lessons already? That's great. Now you're ready to play a few holes at us as a test. Are you ready now? Let's do it. And want to learn how shift can affect actually. Not really, to be honest. Okay, will do. Thanks, Toad. If you ever need a refresher on how movement works, press plus to open your golf watch menu. Yeah. Great, so this is pretty simple. You're going to play three holes on the rookie course, finishing five over par, or better, to pass. That's it. Five over par? Jeez. You have to be a pretty bad player to get that. Don't worry about running from hole to hole just yet. Focus on making good shots and scoring under the limit. All right. We actually get to play some golf now. <laughs> about 30 minutes in. Let's do it. Straight into the bunker. Fantastic start, man. What a horrible shot. Maybe it will be easier to get five. I'm probably going to fail. We'll see how we go. Alright, so I am actually going to be chipping for par here, which is ridiculous. So we're going to start off with a bogey at least. Actually, that, that might be alright. Straight on, basically. No, I didn't allow for it. Double bogey on the first hole. Ah. Oops. I'm so sad. Ready? So what happens if you're not ready? It's just stiff, stiff shit. The countdown. I'm starting the countdown anyway. <laughs> All right. I keep forgetting to fast forward the shots because we don't have to see them technically. Um. Oh, okay. I reckon that'll be good. Hopefully, roll into the hole. Nice shot. Not bad. Nice. If that was straight, that would have been in. Pretty. Okay, pretty simple putt. Alright, got a shot back. Ready? Alright, hole number three. Lucky I'm ready. Nice shot. Ooh, stop, stop, stop. Nice Thank you. bit more power. Tap her in for a par. I was going to say birdie, but no. Alright. 
So I did better than plus five, that's for sure. 700 coins. All right, I'm going to give myself some more control, I think. Oh, I've got three points. There we go. Eh, uh, power. Nice, you crushed that test. Great job learning the basics. On to the next challenge. Which is, right now, surprise! For this test, you'll need to complete three holes within a time limit and score well too. You have 10 minutes sufficient to fi finish a par 3, par 4 and a par 5 and a total score of 3 over par or better. This is what's called speed golf. So if you have to run to your ball after each shot... So you have to run to your ball after each shot. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I just had a round of uh, speed golf. It's good fun. All right, here we go. Here do we go. I'll take it from here. Leave the timer and score ki timer and score keeping to me. I can't talk again. In this practice round, you'll be running over the course. Want me to explain the movement works? No, that's fine. I've got that. You need a refresher. Blah 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 blah. When it's time to take a shot. Blah 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 blah. Keep an eye. Yeah, we know. It's all good. I think I accidentally pressed yes. So fair game. And run! I'm in a rough though. Alright, I'm not that far from the hole. What was it? Eight meters. Run, run, run. Might be a little too much to the right. Yeah, I thought it was. Good pace on it, though. Alright. I'm so disappointed. Sort of my plus two, I think? Oh, no, plus one. I thought I started on plus one. Meh, whatever. Run! Oof, get some uh, stamina back here. Yeah. Yeah. At least jumping doesn't take much. Alright, run. Run, 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 run. Alright. Actually. Okay. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Go in. <laughs> yeah, got a par. Hole 18. Oop. Think I mucked that sort of bit. Pressed A a bit too early then. But hopefully it works out okay. Just uh, got over that bunker actually. That was pretty close. Come on man, you're so slow dude. All right. Nice 
I thought that would uh, I thought that would uh, would of landed a bit closer to the hole there. Give me that birdie. Ooh. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Nice. Okay. All right. Time of 332, a thousand coins. Level nine. Power and control. Thank you. You pass, nice work. That means you finished within the time limit and got a nice score to boot. Now you're ready for a qualifying round. Just head to the gate behind the clubhouse when you're ready to give it a try. By the way, uh, even though you can play freely now, don't forget what it took to get here. Keep practicing your shots and refine your techniques. Once a student of the game, always a student of the game. Very, very true. All right, guys, on that note, I think I'll wrap up part three right here. Um, like I've mentioned already a couple of times in this video, I never knew Golf Adventure would actually be like this. I suppose, as I have a quick yawn there, um, uh, there's a bit of a clue in the name, I guess, Golf Adventure. So, but anyway, I'm like, it was a nice surprise. I'm, I'm quite enjoying this, and uh, I'm stretching and jumping on the spot now. That's fantastic. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you uh, if you're playing this. Uh, this particular mode, Golf Adventure. Let me know if you like it and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, but if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And we'll play that qualifying round in the next video. Adios.